spot since Jonathan Darling Reynoso and Audrey Moran vanished. Investigators have been tight-lipped about the investigation, but KMIR's Kitty Alvarado has been following the story for the, since the very beginning. Has uncovered new details about the couple's relationship and has the very latest. It's hard to believe that in 92 days, no one has come forward to help detectives solve this case. Even the smallest piece of information can help investigators piece together this mystery. We reached out to a private investigator to show him what we know and what we found out in hopes a new perspective can lead to finding Jonathan and Audrey. Since their disappearance three months ago, we've heard from 28-year-old Jonathan Darling Reynoso and 26-year-old Audrey Moran's families and friends. We expect to hear from her and she's not there. Help them come home. The pain of not knowing what happened that day, where they went, who they might be with, and where they are now haunts them every minute of every day. First of my life, I'll be waiting. We just want them back. They've been pleading to anyone who knows something to come forward. They've even raised a big reward. Still nothing. And investigators with the Riverside County Sheriff's Department have held on to what they know or don't know. But in the search for the truth and in hopes Jonathan and Audrey come home, we reached out to Luis Bolaños, a private investigator with over 30 years of experience. What does his gut tell him? Are Jonathan and Audrey out there somewhere or has the worst happened? They're still missing until you prove to me that they're not just missing anymore. Um, and, and that's the goal of the investigation, to find out exactly where they ended up, where they are. And to do that, he says investigators go back weeks before they vanished. They look at phone and computer records, but the most important sources are those who knew them best. So the families and friends of Jonathan and Audrey is to be as open and transparent with law enforcement as you possibly can. Even if you're afraid of what you may tell them, may be negative. He says the chain of events that led up to their disappearance usually holds the answer. Back to the timeline. The timeline is the key to this whole thing. You know, that's going to identify individuals that you need to interview first. According to investigators, sometime after 8 o'clock on Wednesday, May 10th, Audrey visited her sister and told her she was going to pick up Jonathan, who needed a ride after a trip back from Brawley with a group of friends. Two days later, they found her car abandoned on the side of the 10 freeway in Beaumont, where a bloodhound tracked their scent. The Brawley trip stands out to him. This never-before-seen image of the pizza box found in Jonathan's Palm Desert apartment shows the pizza was ordered at 5.44 that night. By the time it was delivered, then eaten, it seems nearly impossible to make a one-and-a-half-hour trip to Brawley and back in time for Audrey to meet him past eight when she texted her mom this picture. To this day, I still don't know if he actually ever made it to those friends, if they've ever been interviewed. It doesn't look like he made it that way. But does he think Jonathan and Audrey were ever in Beaumont, where her car was found with no signs of struggle? And the bloodhound tracked them for about 50 feet, which could be indicative of uh, them getting into a, a different vehicle. Uh, and I got to tell you, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department bloodhound uh, is one of the best in the nation. They're excellent at what they do. So I put a lot of value on that. We've come to find out through multiple credible sources, Jonathan and Audrey were not dating exclusively. While it's not uncommon or odd, sources tell us a man Audrey was dating, whose name we will not yet reveal, was not only questioned by police, but torched his car after reporting it missing and also had a search warrant served on his home. If somebody's under suspicion for any crime and out of the blue they end up torching their vehicle, it's very suspicious. But he doesn't rule out the possibility Jonathan and Audrey don't want to be found. While the Riverside County Sheriff's Department has their status as missing under suspicious circumstances, at one point, for unknown reasons, the Department of Justice had a different status. It caught my immediately that on these flyers, they're both listed as voluntary missing adults. Their status has since been changed on the site, but he says in the off chance that's the case, they should not be afraid to come forward. It's okay. <laughs> I would say just make a phone call that someone you care about know you're okay and come back. Or don't come back, but at least let someone know you're okay. Bottom line, he says two people did not simply vanish without at least one person knowing where they are or how to find them. Somebody out there knows, and somebody needs to make the call and do the right thing. And uh, let's find Jonathan and Audrey, and let's bring some peace to their family and friends. 
We want to stress investigators have not listed anyone as a suspect. We reached out to the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. Again, they would not comment on this case. Olaño says this is also telling. They're either close or have hit a wall. Either way, he says everyone needs to do their part to help find Jonathan and Audrey. If you have any information, please call the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. I'm Kitty Alvarado. All right, thank you, Kitty.